All right, so on the Big Jamaica, uh, this is my first tuner trip ever. Um, so super pumped and excited to be out here, not really knowing what to expect. Um, but what I'm doing here is I'm counting um, how much line I'm letting out. So I'm going from my reel to my first guide. So that's about two Anybody feet. Know how deep? So I'm basically doing like depth checking. Yeah, and there's a little technique to this too, right? So you don't really want to let your line out um, crazy fast. Um, you kind of want to be like slow, methodical with it. Um, reason being is if you, you know, lower your line too fast, your sinker's heavier than your bait. Um, and what will happen is your bait will line twist around, um, you know, the line you're letting out, which will then cause you not to hook up. The day bite was uh, kind of slow. I think only a couple people hooked up. Um, the boat ride out to get to the spot was like close to seven hours. We did stop for maybe an hour to try to, you know, get on um, some fish that we saw or the captain saw. Um, but the bite was extremely slow. Um, so nothing really was really happening during the day. Um, at this point, it's probably one o'clock um, when we started getting more fish showing on the boat and uh, to the left of me, a guy finally hooked up. There he is. There we go. Good job. And the technique for baiting the fish on the hook, um, we were going through the mouth of the sardine, um, not hooking into the fish at all, but passing through the gill. And then we are pushing the hook up, rotating it um, so that the, the hook is actually facing the top of the fish. And then you're ever so slightly putting that hook into the skin of the fish, and then you're burying it in there and basically making the hook um, invisible to the fish's eye. At this point, it's 3 a.m. and we finally fish on. Uh, we got on a big school of fish and almost everyone hooked up. And it just became total chaos. Uh, yeah, under and over. Under me. Now you go under. Under. I'm trying, brother. Jesus. Man, I can't even freaking reel anymore. It's not letting me reel. The fish honestly fight so hard that you can't reel. And I thought there was something wrong with my reel. Motherfucker. And there goes a quarter of the line I just reeled in. Let me know if you need me. Oh, 
God damn it. What's going on here? I'm in one of you. Reel it in. It's a free wheel. All I could think was, please don't tangle me up and make me lose the fish. Uh, luckily, the mate was able to get the rod, um, or yeah, I was able to get the rod out. Oh, come on. No. And there goes half the line I just reeled in again from the fish pulling the drag. Jesus, I can't even crank this fucking handle. <clears throat> Dude, should it be that Carlos should it be this hard to fucking reel this? At this point, I was struggling and Got it. didn't know if there was something wrong with my reel or if it was something I was doing. Um, so I asked the mate for help. I would have dropped down right here. Got three on right here and one there. Oh, no. <laughs> Do it like this. All right. Use your you legs, knees, and reel yourself up. Just like that, okay? Yep. Bend down. Reel, start reeling before you even start going, because you don't want to give that little, that little second to slap. Just use your legs. down he's good this guy's gonna come over the top of you all right come over the top of him keep coming down over the top over the top wait 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 tip down there you go guys work together all right send him down there motherfucker I got color. <laughs> keep coming down, keep coming down. Fuck. <sighs> Coming down, buddy, watch out. Watch out in the blue, watch out. Oh god. Hell yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. I don't need this jacket now. Just watch your heads Yeah. 
finally got the tuna in. Uh, super pumped. Uh, this is my first tuna ever. Um, ended up being a decent one, probably around 60 pounds. Uh, what an epic fight. All right, so let's talk about the gear that I used for this trip. Um, what I did use, uh, as far as reels go, I did go out and get the Pen Fathom 2. Um, this is the 40N. Um, <clears throat> you know, it, it, it can hold up to 500 uh, yards um, of, of mono. Um, you know, at like 50 pound. Um, what, what I did have on here is 80 pound. Um, and then for my leader, I used 50 pound. Um, I paired that up. I went and got a Phoenix uh, Axis rod. This is their extra heavy, 7.2. Um, you know, rated from 30 to 80 pounds. Um, super light rod. Um, in all like seriousness, uh, even though this is an extra heavy rod, I uh, definitely feel like I could get away, um, you know, with jigging this rod. Um, the bite didn't really pick up to where it was good enough to start jigging. Um, everything was being hit on live bait. Um, we were using sardines and butterfish. Sardines seemed to be uh, the, the better bait of choice. Um, I only think I heard of one person catching, um, you know, a tuna on the butterfish. So definitely the sardine was the, the trick this trip out. Um, but what I'm going to show you real quick is um, the setup. So you have about, uh, let's say, six foot of leader line. Um, so sorry if you can't see this. I'm trying my best. Um, so you have a 7-0 -0 hook. Okay. And then you have... Um, six foot of leader right and then that goes to an egg sinker um, for the trip we were using anywhere from eight ounces um, all the way up to at one point I had 20 ounces when the tide was running so you have a 250 pound uh, swivel or that's what it's rated for <clears throat> so the egg sinker goes to your main line in this case it's my 80 pound mono um, then it goes to a barrel swivel, right? It's a 250, uh, pound rating. Then I went to a 50 pound, um, test as far as my leader, right? And like I said, six foot, um, and then that went to a 7-0 hook. Um, and the technique in which we did, um, as far as trying to find your depth, um, what we would do, we would pull, right, we would pull from the reel, uh, we would have it in free spool, right, so you would let this lever down with the clicker on, um, and then you would pull your line out all the way up to your first guide, and that typically is like two feet, so if the captain says, okay, we're marking fish a hundred feet down, um, then what we would do, you would pull that you know 50 times and then you know you're at your 100 foot mark um for this particular day um it seemed well actually for the whole trip it seemed like the bite uh everyone was catching from 130 foot down to 150 foot down um i was 150 feet down when um i caught my tuna um and you know my my tuna was a 60 pound class so Good fight. Probably took me about 20 minutes to get in. Um, you didn't catch the first clip when uh, the drag was screaming. When, you know when it hit initially. But what you do is you put your uh, reel in your free spool. You have your clicker on. You hold your thumb on the spool, um, and then you just feed out your line right to that guide. All right, two feet. So if I'm marking 150 feet down or 140 feet down or whatever, you know. 75 times um you know so it's a counting game um a lot of guys you know will e they'll either mark their lines with rubber bands um the people that do mark their lines with the marker uh they told me they find that that mark kind of uh washes off 
So a good rule of thumb is just, you know, putting your line out with your hand and, and, and counting. Um, yeah, I mean, a great fight. Uh, it's, it's definitely uh, something I've been wanting to do and glad that I was able to go out, you know, on the uh, big Jamaica. Um, originally, I was supposed to go out on the Gambler, but um, the hurricanes that pushed through kind of canceled the trip. So it was awesome to get on there um, on the big Jamaica and go out and get the trip in. Um, the guys that were on the boat were very helpful. Um, you know, if there wasn't uh, something you knew, they would very easily tell you. Um, I mean, it's their job, and they, they did a good one. Um, let's see. The knots that, that we used of choice was the improved clinch knot, um, and we typically did five to six wraps for that um, when we were tying that up. So, yeah, great trip. Uh, good fight. Uh, can't wait to get back out there next season and, uh, you know, do it again, hopefully with more fish. And, uh, yeah, so catch you next time.